All right, folks, let's talk about Nanite's distillation. We've already discussed it, but with the latest version, there have been a few very minor changes. So today, I propose a slightly simplified setup for Nanite distillation because I've seen so many misinformation on this topic. Nanite distillation remains an experimental feature. The first step, which remains the same as what I've previously shown you, is to add two lines of commands to the default engine.ini file. These lines enable input displacement on the final outputs of our materials. Even though we can add these commands in the editor, it won't affect our output results. And for now, we are really stuck tweaking this file. Hopefully, in the official release of 5.4, we won't have to do this anymore. And no, there's no need to activate a plugin for that, especially the Nanite Displate Mesh plugin. This plugin has been available since version 5.1. It simply allows you to use a component to save displacement presets as assets. This has nothing to do with our Nanite dynamic tessellation at runtime. As a reminder, this functionality will allow us to manage our displacements via materials in real time on Nanite Mesh. After setting up our project, let me show you how to set up the material itself. So let's just create a classic material in your content browser here, and you will immediately see your new displacement inputs, which is already a good thing. The little novelty here lies in the details on the left side of your screen, specifically the enable tessellation. This attribute allows you to activate and deactivate displacements on your mesh on the fly. This is not a bad thing, considering that in version 5.3, we were somewhat constrained to activate it once the displacement inputs had been specified. Just a reminder here, I'm mixing the terms displacement and tessellation, but concretely, what we're dealing with here is tessellation, since we don't need real subdivisions to give relief to our mesh. So obviously, check enable tessellation, and the final step will happen on the mesh itself, where you need to activate Nanite. For a quick setup, I've downloaded material from Bridge using these three textures, Color, Normal, and Aura DP. I connect the outputs of each texture as usual. A quick reminder, the blue channel of the Aura DP texture corresponds to a displacement map when it comes to surface assets from Bridge. So here I add a little logic to the displacement with a multiply and a scalar parameter so we can control the intensity of our displacement. Additionally, I add a UV tile system on our textures. No need for more, let's test this directly. Just take a plane, for example this one that I quickly created via the modeling tools plugin and test our material on it. For best practices, we'll use a material instance and not the master directly. As I mentioned earlier, don't forget to activate Nanite on your mesh. Right click where your mesh is located in your content brother and activate Nanite. Now let's focus on our instance and for good results, we won't just play with the scalar parameter we set up to adjust the intensity of our displacement, we'll also play with the magnitude attributes found under the material property override tab and under displacement scaling. Here, I found these values to work quite well. We don't need more for now. That's all we need to set up Nanite dynamic tessellation on the 5.4 preview of Unreal. Here, I've set up a small scene utilizing the full potential of Nanite, both on photogrammetry type assets and on low subdivision mesh sources that use Nanite tessellation. I even implemented a small mesh painting system with Nanite tessellation, which offers incredible possibilities. Moreover, you'll find a new video available right now that explains how to set up this type of system. So, I'll see you there as well, but no, don't leave so soon. Let me show you a quick time lapse of this environment. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to check the video alongside this one as it will surely help you a lot. And let's meet again next week for more exciting topics. Bye!